My name is Purva. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Lily AI. So we're actually three years old. Um, we, we launched at South by Southwest and won, but we are three years old. Um, so at Lily AI, we've basically built a product that is able to understand a woman's emotions and perceptions about her body. And then we help brands and retailers truly personalize the shopping experience. So by definition, AI means machines behaving like humans. But most AI applications today lack empathy and understanding of emotions. So what really creates emotion in fashion? Interestingly, it's the details. So I'm also wearing black, all black, but there are so many details on what I'm wearing that makes me feel a certain way. So these three women here return that black top, interestingly, because of that slit and how they have a perception, all three of them, of why they think that slit is not going to look good on them. It's completely their own perception. And so mimicking somebody's mental model is what we do at Lily AI. And so there is, I mean, a very straightforward case that can be made that if you are able to mimic a woman's, let's say, mental model of how she thinks about her body, you can truly personalize the experience. But personalization so far has been done on segments. I'm sure we, are, we all know this. Because you saw that, we think you will also like that. And this is because this is done mostly to match what you were looking at. What did you look at? What did you look at? What did you look at? But it misses the why. So each person's why is very different. And that's why, and, and it's the details which lead to that why being very, very different. There is one more reason why um, this has not been done so far, which is it is very, very hard to constantly understand the evolving details of the customer's evolving preferences, perceptions, et cetera, and then also the evolving inventory, like daily changing millions of SKUs of inventory. And with respect to the customer, there is one more thing, and I personally care a lot about this, which is that for women, this perception is deep rooted in insecurity. It starts at the age of two, that girls as babies start disliking parts of their body and start making these negative perceptions to the effect that women in this country get 13 negative thoughts about their appearance every day. So it's really about the perception. A size 00 and a size 26 don't like their thighs, both, for just, and for very similar reasons, which is their own respective perception of how they think about their body. And so what we have built at Lily AI is basically our first, pro so we are able to understand a woman's mental model. So let's say Nicole here, she has a small belly. I have one too. But her perception is that it's, her belly is bigger than what it is. And it goes into an insecurity there for her. Her preference is to actually camouflage the belly. But then because of the fact that she's stylish, she has a chic style of dressing, her, she has another preference. She does not just want to wear loose clothing. And so, and then she has other specific aspects, which is very, very hard to describe. And so what, what we are able to do is, we have built the deepest feature extraction engine in the industry today, and I'm very proud to say that, where we have trained our deep learning engines to understand more than 15,000 plus attributes for clothing. So on any item of clothing, there is 1,100 plus attributes that our engines are able to check for. And, and this deep level of attribution is basically, along with emotional intelligence, leads us to then match emotions and insecurities of people to products, because now everything is being spoken about in, a very, in, the, in the same common denominator. So let me show you how this works. So quick demo. Um, this is clickstream data that we got from a retailer about Nicole's you know, different browse activity, different actions. So on this product, she stopped. And so we were able to create a, a perception profile where we were able to understand, we were able to predict that probably she has a, a round belly. She, so we personalized her stream. She saw better products. Then she bought and kept this product. She did not return this product. And then we understood from this product that she may actually have a small belly than a round belly because of 
A, because we attributed that top with 100 plus attributes. And then the other thing is, this top is actually not going to make a round belly person comfortable because of how it is structured. So this is a tailored top that Nicole is going to like in her style and there's so many other things about her perception. And at the same time, this is something that she is going to fit into and is her style. And so your AI is as good as your training data. So we had to collect and painstakingly label all of this very, very, very minute detailed data. Uh, with, we trained it with more than 330 million data points. The results have been phenomenal. We've seen a 20x conversion rate, more than 400% increase in likes, more than 80% reduction in returns. We think this is the future of fashion where it is going to be emotionally intelligent experiences. Although there is one thing that I do want to share, uh, which is from my own experience, that we never set out to build an AI company. For the last three years, we have been razor focused on solving a problem, which is to mimic a woman's mental model. This is the first time ever that I've got on stage and I'm talking about AI and our technology because uh, now this is what we do as we work with brands and retailers. But at the same time, we have been able to build this extremely deep technology because of the fact that we were razor sharp focused on solving the problem. Thanks so much.